Hey family, thank you so much for connecting with me today. So um, the word I have today, um, I received a couple of hours ago and I just felt the urgency to come up um, and quickly record this and put it out there for whoever this word is. Um, first, I'm going to pray and then I'm going to go ahead and read two scriptures which I received today from the Lord God Almighty. So um, let's just get right into praying. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, we give you praise, we give you glory, we give you honor. I thank you for the privilege to be able to bring your word unto your people today. I pray, O oh Lord, um, that this word will speak to the right person, the persons, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. I cover this word with the blood of Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit. Even right now in this hour, speak through me. Let me speak the words, the exact words that you want your people to receive today, Heavenly Father, O oh Lord. And let it uplift them, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, we bless your name and we give you all the glory, all the praise and all the honor. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. I'm going to go ahead and read the first scripture, which is Isaiah 66, verse 7. And that says, Before she was in labor, she gave birth. Before her pain came upon her, she delivered a son. That's Isaiah 66, 7. Now I'm going to go ahead and read Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. There, there is a labor currently going on that some that some of you are experiencing a labor in marriage, or um, some of you are experiencing some sort of labor. You're waiting. You're going through this waiting, right? And some of you are um, waiting um, to be connected to your um, to your um, divine spouse, your covenant spouse, your purpose mate, right? And some of you are waiting on God and believing for a restoration of your marriage. And um, I receive emails from um, a few of you that have asked me to put you in my prayers and... Um, so yeah, God spoke to me this this evening a couple of hours ago about this that you know there's a labor currently going on and he sees you know how much you're waiting, how much you're trusting, how how much you're remaining faithful, you know, trusting in him to bring to pass what he says that he's going to bring, you know, to pass in in your life. So if we go back to um, Isaiah 66, 7, it says, Before she was in labor, she gave birth. Before she was in labor, she gave birth. Before her pain came forth, came upon her, she delivered a son. That son that she be, that that son, that son that she delivered was 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 the promise to her, right? The the promise to the woman was was the son right so she delivered a son that that thing that you're believing god for is your promise right that thing you're believing god for is your promise okay so it says before she was in labor she gave birth before her pain came upon her she delivered a son god wants you to be reassured that what you're currently going through right now, like everything you're going through right now, you're waiting, you're you know seeking him, believing him, trusting him for everything. It is all going to come to you all of a sudden. It is coming. What you're believing God for is coming before you know it. Before you know it, you will be surprised. Many of you are going to get phone calls. Many of you are going to get emails. Many of you are actually going to... Um, come into contact in one way or you know the other with your future spouse in the next coming weeks 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 many of you are going to be in touch with the one that god has for you in the next coming weeks this is all going to happen all of a sudden all of a sudden but don't give up 
God doesn't want you to give up just because you're in your, you know, waiting and it looks like it's forever. You're believing, you're trusting God. Do not give up the push. Do not give up the push of this labor because you are about to. You are about to bring forth. You are, you are about to give birth. You are about to give birth. This is your labor that you have to go through. If you're praying for a spouse, for a prodigal spouse, for them to come back home, for them to return, for them to be restored, keep on praying. Don't give up. Do not give up. Do not stop praying for that person. If you're believing God for a new, you know, um, a spouse, your covenant spouse, who God has ordained for you. Do not give up. Do not stop praying. Do not stop praying. Do not stop believing for that person, right? If you're believing God for marriage restoration, continue to pray, continue to seek God, and he will come through for you. God wants you to have hope in him, beloved. God wants you to trust with to trust in him with all your heart and all your mind. He wants you to believe that what he says that he's going to do, he will do. Before you know it, all of a sudden, your promise will be in your hand, just as the woman that, that has been referred to in Isaiah 66, 7, before she was in labor, she gave birth. All of a sudden, the child came. All of a sudden, all of a sudden, before her pain came upon her, she delivered a son. It's going to come to you all of a sudden. It's coming. It is coming. What you're believing God for is coming. With regards to marriage, that thing is coming. That person is coming. You just need to make sure that you are preparing yourself and that you're building up yourself. And that you're building your faith. And that you're cleansing yourself by the help of the Holy Spirit. You just need to make sure that you're doing all those things. So that when that promise comes, you'll be able to receive that promise. Manage the promise. And live with that promise the way God has ordained for you to live with that promise. That's so that it brings him glory in the end. Because that's because whatever God does in our lives or whatever God gives to us is all for his glory. Right? So do not give up the push. Keep pushing because you're in labor. It may seem painful right now. It may seem like, oh my goodness, when is this going to come to an end? I'm tired of waiting. I need somebody. I need a companion. I need a friend. I need this. I need that. I need that. But as long as you do not give up and you continue to push labor in prayer, continue to do what you need to do and do what God has called you to do, knowing what he says in Jeremiah 29 verse 11, God is not setting you up for nothing. He has planned your future. He knows what he's doing. So all you need to do is trust in him and trust in his plans to prosper you, not to harm you. He has plans to give you a hope to believe that he has this great thing in store for you. If it's a husband, if it's a wife that you're believing for, he has this great thing in store for you. He has a great future planned for you. Don't quit now. Keep fighting and keep pushing. Don't quit now. Keep fighting and keep pushing for the one that you know that God is sending your way. I have an article. Um, it's, it's a devotional that I um, write weekly. I've got one that I wrote a couple of weeks ago and the title is Don't Give Up the Push. It is speaking to people that are going through one challenge or the other. And I put that up on my uh, blog weekly. I'm going to put a link of the blog in the description bar for you to check that out and have a read. And it's going to help you strengthen your faith and just lift you up spiritually. So I will advise you definitely have a look at the blog and have a read of the devotional. So continue to fast if you need to fast. Spend more time in the presence of God. Continue to commune with him and continue to walk with the spirit of God, with the Holy Spirit. Continue to pray in the Holy Ghost. Continue to trust in God. If you know, you know that God has given you a sign already that listen, 
this thing that I promised you is on the way. If God is restoring your marriage and he's already, you know, giving you a sign, this thing I've promised you is on the way. We are believing God for a new spouse. Just keep believing and keep trusting and keep serving him. The more committed you are to God, the more committed you are to the, to, to the things of his kingdom, the more committed he will be to manifesting his plans, his promises in your life. But I just want to encourage you all that um, just the same way that I'm believing God for um a spouse i want you to also have faith because i've been believing god for a spouse for some time i know what it's like i can relate with you it can be painful waiting for such a long time it can be painful waiting for months and waiting for a year or two years um you know regardless of what you're waiting for if you're waiting for your marriage to be restored or you're waiting for you know for a new spouse you know um but don't give up um, just know that you have a friend here and you have someone here to uh, you know guide you and help you and obviously i'm being you know helped by the holy spirit and guided by him too he's our helper and he's our friend and he's our everything so anyone that needs prayers please definitely reach out um and know that you're not alone i'm here with you and um believe in god for a divine spouse my covenant spouse as well so trust in god and he will bring all things um to light one day and yeah so until next time you all i'll see you in my uh next video thank you to all of my subscribers thank you to my wonderful subscribers i love you all and i'm always praying for you all God bless you and I pray that God will continue to keep you all and cover you in his blood. In Jesus name. Amen.